Okay, this video is side effects of artificial sweeteners or why you should avoid artificial sweeteners. So here's one paper that shows the more artificial sweeteners people eat, the more type 2 diabetes they get. Um, here's another paper about artificial sweeteners. Aspartame in particular, sometimes also called NutraSweet or AminoSweet, was associated with increased risk of stroke. Also, aspartame is known, you know, aspartate is one of the amino acids inside of it. Uh, to have increased risk of excitotoxicity, you know, overactivation of a neuron because it increases, it binds the NMDA receptor like glutamate would to have an excitatory effect on the postsynaptic cell. Okay, ACE sulfame and sucralose were associated with increased uh, atherosclerotic coronary artery disease risk. Uh, now I'm going to show you a chart of uh, comparing these sweeteners. So for, first, a couple additional points. Overall, they, they don't seem to have any significant effect to lower weight. You know, some study will say they, over, they, they cause a little weight loss. Other one will say a little weight gain. But overall, there's no strong benefit for, for weight loss. Um, they also keep the person sort of addicted to a sweet taste, and they're more likely to relapse into a habit of eating a lot of sweets and craving sugar and sweeteners. Um, other papers show that in some papers they actually gained a significant amount of weight, had more diabetes, coronary artery disease. Okay, uh, me in general, my thoughts on it, I think they're stupid. I mean, you don't want to mess around with your glucose metabolism. And the reason why your glucose is so tightly regulated is because that's basically what, that's what your brain runs on. So if you mess with your blood glucose level, you are messing with your brain. That is a stupid thing to do. Um, and so we talk, oh, here's what happens. You activate the taste receptors for sweets in your mouth and your digestive tract, and that sends a signal to the pancreas to increase insulin. So the pancreas will increase blood insulin, and that insulin will start pushing the blood glucose into the cells, like the skeletal muscle cells, for example. But that's bad because it's going to lower your blood glucose level, um, causing a hypoglycemia potentially. Hypoglycemia means low blood sugar. You don't want that. That's bad for your brain. That can cause a lot of uh, symptoms. You feel lousy, this malaise, these sometimes uh, uh, shimmering lights, scotomata, and then the person will want to real quickly go and eat some more. So having hypoglycemia can lead to overeating. Um, so you're, you're really not, you're not tricking your system. You don't win the game of health by tricking Mother Nature. You win the game of health by doing what Mother Nature wants you to do. Artificial sweeteners do not have calories because they're not absorbed. Okay, that's why, you know, they can be zero calories. But they are, they do interact with your gut bacteria. They can be harmful to the gut bacteria. They can cause bloating, abdominal cramps, diarrhea. Um, so here's some of them. We talked about ACE sulfames. It says, in, according to some studies, an increased risk of cancer. Um, possible, you know, like we said, coronary artery disease or some of the other ones. There's always a whole bunch of them. My, my feeling would be the smart move is avoid all this stuff. Aspartame in some studies was associated with increased cancer like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, multiple myeloma, leukemia. The big thing that would worry me is an excitotoxic effect of the brain because a lot of people have multiple excitotoxic and excitotoxic equivalent uh, foods and toxins they're exposed to routinely on a daily basis. So you don't want to pile one more on there because that might you know, be the last straw on the camel's back to tip you into apoptosis, meaning loss of a brain cell. You overwhelm the poor brain cell that's just trying to hang in there. You don't want to do that. You want to be the, the friend, the helper of your brain cells. Okay, here's just some more of these associated with cancer. This erythritol stuff is associated with being prothrombotic, increasing the tendency of the blood to clot. That's bad. Anything that clots can plug up your arteries, plug up your capillaries. You know, people primarily die from thrombosis, occlusion of arteries. You know, you clot an artery in the brain, it's a stroke. You clot an artery in the heart, it's myocardial infarction, heart attack. You don't want that. Um, high fructose corn syrup is bad for multiple reasons, often contaminated with HG, mercury, um, associated with obesity, fatty liver, diabetes, etc. These are some of the newer ones. Uh, saccharin, you know was associated with cancer. And, you know, there's always some ambiguity to the data. You know, it's going to be in animal studies. Uh, is it with mice? Is it with rats? And then is it really true in humans? But you don't win anything with this stuff like I'm showing. You don't get, you know, weight loss in any significant way. You don't prevent any disease. So why do it when you have the potential to damage your brain, damage your heart, uh, screw up your, uh, your blood glucose levels in a bad way? Oh, and in particular, stevia gets promoted a lot. Stevia, there's multiple papers on that causing infertility, and that's actually been known a long time. Okay, here's some more papers. Uh, stevia, it's been known um, for centuries in Paraguay as a contraceptive. It's 
about 100 times sweeter than sucrose, you know, like table sugar. And uh, it was known in this paper here in 1968 to decrease female fertility uh, for about two months after eating it. And then here's another paper, decreases female fertility, okay? So I think it's part of the whole sterilization thing, you know? Um, here it is, non-caloric sweeteners on, uh, let's see, this is just non-caloric sweeteners in general. It doesn't specifically say uh, stevia. Okay. Um, here is uh, stevia. Oh, also decreasing male fertility. This is in rats. It would decrease the size of their testicles, their seminal vesicles, and decrease their sperm concentration. And it would decrease their testosterone. Great. So look at the typical American chump. Okay, they drink tap water that's got aluminum in there and F minus, toxic to the testicles. Then on top of that, they'll eat something with soy in it, which is toxic to male reproduction, lower sperm count. And then maybe it'll be sweetened with stevia. Isn't that great? This typical stupid chump will sterilize themselves. Okay, um, aspartame is bad, numerous things. Oh, aspartame, look at this. It, it was also bad for sperm. Great. So that's another way to sterilize yourself. Reproductive damage in male mice through in induction of oxidative stress. Okay, here's saccharin. And that also damaged sperm. These artificial sweeteners are good for sterilizing people. No wonder they get promoted so much. Sterilize the stupid proles. If they're stupid enough to eat it, they deserve to be sterilized. Cull, cull, cull. The you know what, the herd. Okay, negative effects on sperm with saccharin. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a great way to sterilize all these chumps. Okay, uh, no, more stuff on stevia. Oh, and then also what happens is papers come out and they show how bad something is. And then all of a sudden, you get this new wave of industry-funded papers that say, oh, it's wonderful. So this paper comes out on stevia saying, it's wonderful. Anti-diabetic, anti-hypertensive, anti-inflammatory, anti-oxidant, anti-cancer, anti-diarrhea. Yeah, right. You know, anybody who believes that's a stupid chump. Okay? That's why, you know, when somebody tells me, I just go by the science, I just go by the papers, I'm like, yeah, right. You can't just do that. You have to have some intuitive sense of who's funding the paper because whoever funds the paper controls the content. A lot of the older papers were just done by people trying to figure out the truth, whereas a lot of modern papers tend to be funded by industry getting trying to get the result they want for advertising purposes. Okay, so here's another paper. You know, again, these are the more recent papers. This one on uh, Stevia saying, oh, there's no toxicity. Yeah, right. I think I trust uh, a couple centuries in Paraguay more than I trust the latest industry-funded paper. So anyways, that's the scoop on, a, on uh, artificial sweeteners. I would avoid all of them. I, I do avoid all of them 100%. I would never eat one of those things. Uh, so I hope that was helpful.